Named after the indigenous Yakima people, the Yakima River is the main waterway that crosses through Kittitas County. Ellensburg's convenient location adjacent to its banks has turned this wonderful city into an important fly fishing hub. One of the unique things about fishing the Yakima River here in the Kittitas Valley is its proximity to Seattle. We're only 90 miles from Seattle. It is a blue ribbon trout stream. We have a very high concentration of rainbow trout, cutthroat, and cut bows. So the Yakima River is a pretty neat place. It's actually the kind of the, the, the blue ribbon fly fishing capital of Washington State for a number of different reasons. It's almost like it's three rivers in one. The upper stretch is very much a mountain stream with a lot of uh, pine trees and fir trees, smaller water, crystal clear, traditional runs with big boulders and log jams. As you travel, down the river into the Ellensburg area, it goes through a wide floodplain and it's, it's a lot of gravel and a lot of different channels. Uh, very much a different characteristic from up above so of the Yakima River. And then what's, what's really neat is that once you get out of the convergence zone from the rain shadow of the Cascades, you're into the central basin of Washington State and it's very much an arid desert stream. The water is uh, very nondescript on the surface. Uh, it flows through just a beautiful canyon with ridges that, that go up uh, several thousand feet and uh, very much a desert stream that holds a lot of insect life and a lot of trout life. It's very much a uh, blue ribbon trout fishery. If you feel that you want to discover all of the Yakima River's hidden secrets, a guided fishing trip will put you in touch with some very experienced locals who can show you all the secret fishing spots. So here at Troutwater Fly Shop, we have two fly shops, one in Ellensburg, Washington, another one up about 20 miles upriver in Clayham, Washington. Both shops are in the Kittitas Valley on the Yakima River. So on a typical day on a guided fly fishing trip, we're gonna have two anglers in our boat. We take anglers from no experience to advanced anglers. We typically meet at our shop, either at our Ellensburg shop or our Cleolum shop, um, depending on where we're gonna float, around 9, 9.30. Uh, once we meet your guide, um, if you have gear, that's great. If you don't, we provide all the gear, minus the fishing license. We'll take you out to the river. Um, we typically do an eight hour float. Um, we feed you lunch on the river. In the springtime when the water's low, we cover anywhere from four to six miles of river. Uh, in the summertime, because it is a tailwater, we're going to see high water right around 4,000 CFS. We're going to be covering anywhere from 15 to 20 miles in a day. If fishing is not your cup of tea and you're a Western art lover instead, you'll enjoy Ellensburg's Climber Museum and Gallery, which draws visitors from all corners of the world as it hosts the largest collection of John Ford Climber works that are not privately owned. John Climber was born and raised in Ellensburg, Washington, and the Climber Museum and Gallery was established 22 years ago to honor his life and work. He was an important American artist during the golden age of illustration and also created many historic works depicting the settling of the western frontier. Lewis and Clark were among many of his subjects. In addition, the venue is an important art center for the local community. Well, the Climber Museum and Gallery hosts many exhibits every year. We change shows about every two months. We also host many events. We have an annual art auction. We have regional artists as well as nationally known artists. We're usually booked out two years in advance. It's quite an honor to have an exhibit at the Climber. And we try and engage the community as well with hosting local artists several times a year. Not far from Allensburg, you can find Puget Sound Energy's second wind farm. 
the Wild Horse Wind and Solar Facility, which offers a first-hand look at how wind and sun are turned into electricity. This is the only one of its kind that actually offers a visiting structure, the Renewable Energy Center, a place where you can learn much about the energy of the future while also enjoying 360-degree views of the Kittitas Valley and the surrounding Cascade Mountain Range. A seasonal facility, the center is open seven days a week from April 1st through November 30th, and throughout this period, it offers daily tours. It's an easy location. We're located just off of I-90 on the Old Vantage Highway, 17 miles east of Ellensburg. Here at this wind farm, we have 149 turbines uh, owned by Puget Sound Energy. Uh, at this visitor's facility, we actually are open seven days a week and we take daily tours at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. We'll actually walk around the building, we'll stop by and take a look at our solar array we have here on site, uh, and then we'll take a walk down to one of our operational wind turbines and we'll actually go into the base. So we're here in the base of a Vestas V80 turbine. Uh, the tower section goes up 221 feet and the tip top of the blade is 351 feet. So there's uh, quite a bit taller than the Statue of Liberty. Uh, this turbine is able to produce uh, 1.8 or 2 megawatts of power. That's good enough for 460 to 510 homes per turbine on an annual basis. 